Welcome back, everyone. We are now on the day after the Harvest Festival, so we are going to be jumping right in and using up all of the different materials that we've grabbed killing bandits. We have over 100 iron bars, which we are going to be processing into steel. Uh, we have tons of mammoth tusks and fragments, charcoal. We have the raw mammoth meat that we picked up out of that mammoth carcass, which we're going to use to creating mammoth tomato stew. So we're going to be much better for um, stamina in the future. And then all of this is stuff that we are going to break down into leather, into leather strips that we can use to craft all of the steel equipment that we're going to make. Um, we'll probably start off by selling some stuff. From there, our goal is going to be doing a few of these quests, so like the, uh, you know, some, some basic speech quests. I don't think we're going to be taking on Valheim Towers or Silent Moon's camp yet, but heading over to clear out Green Spring Hollow, we can do that, right? There's uh, another little ruin here that we can take on. Yeah, the, I agree, the crafting system in Wildlander is pretty good. Um, but let's see, one other option we have is taking on Fort Greymoor. Um, John noticed as he was passing that it's filled with some not so fantastic individuals that have taken it over, right? Taken residence there. But it's still, they're still a little bit hesitant to just go charging in there. They don't think they're, they're quite powerful enough unless they can find some allies to go with them. Awesome, AJ, welcome to the stream. And then we might, might head back to Rorikstead to say hello, who knows. Um, we might head down into Helgen, right? We've heard rumors that there might be some bandits filling in down there after the dragon attack, because we know that it's... So we might go check out Helgen, see what's happening. Who knows? We'll see what we get into today. But our first step... We do a quick inventory check here. Um... Uh, a lot of these, so things like these, uh, these circlets, a lot of this other stuff, we're probably going to keep this, right? This thing's fantastic. We might enchant it and use it in combination with our expert robes, just kind of as an outfit. I'm doing excellent awesome, AJ. How was your day, Ben? We'll also probably sell a lot of our potions that we don't need here. Um, so I think, oh yeah, the, uh, scale armor book, get rid of that. Maybe some of the gems. So I say the first thing we'll do is we're going to sell everything that we're not going to bring back. So, ooh. Are we going to keep our staff of firebolts? We might use that. Oh, welcome. Um, I think we're just going to sell the steel weapons here. It's honestly, the steel swords we might break down, but... Anything made out of steel, especially the well-made stuff, we're just going to sell it. Uh, it's usually a lot better just to, to sell it as is than to break it down because the limiting factor when it comes to smithing is is actually leather because you still need leather uh, leather hide and leather strips when you craft steel stuff. We could buy all of that, but you know, at some point it's... Oh, we're also gonna sell all of the cloaks. They're just better off sold, right? They're like 60 gold each. What else? Crendum, we might make, just make a Crendum bar. Um, we'll sell that. Here's all the wood that we're going to use later. We're going to need all the fur plate. I don't remember what you can do with the mammoth tusks, if you can grind them down, so. Hello, friend. We'll, uh, we'll work on that later. Looking to protect yourself or deal some damage? So we'll start by selling off all of these, that. Oh, nice. Instant speech level up. Just doing OSHA training. Good looking to me. We'll get rid of those. We'll keep our, all of these, uh, goodness. Single, uh, silver arrow. Yeah, we'll hold on to it for now, but. Um, ah, uh, yeah, I guess, I guess we'll sell these here. We're up to 4,000 gold. We managed to get two speech levels, so we're doing pretty good. We'll just sell those iron fragments. And that. Um, yeah, we'll sell some of these. 
Like, yeah, we have all of these uh, these lockpicks now, which is great that we have so many. I think I'm going to sell like 30 of these. All right, we'll sell 34. It's 100 gold, but we only really need 30 of them at any given time, so. Good luck out there. Oh, we're still over encumbered. Okay, Eric. It just feels right somehow. Help. Problem? How can I help? What else does Eric yet have? Yeah, he has his bow, a fur tent, some wood. We are going to give him. What can we give him that's heavy and inconveniencing that we still want to keep? Uh, maybe our butcher's axe and then the pick. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Is there anything else we need? We'll be boosting those up, uh, repairing them, but for now. Yeah, kill strike following for two years. Most excellent. Oh, kill strike is that? Uh, kill strike redeemed the uh, hat redemption. Is that the pirate hat? Because I am a personal fan of the pirate hat. Why not? What do you need? Take a look. So one trick when it comes to speech is rather than selling things in bundles, like selling all six at once, sell them one at a time, and it makes your level up, or yeah, it makes you level up faster, so. We could break those down for, what are they, not leather, but the uh, fur, fur hide, fur pelt, whatever they're called. Anything else we can sell here? Eh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Got rid of all of those, right? I think we're up about another thousand gold, right? Yeah, we're up to five thousand gold. Pretty freaking good. I am tempted to see exactly how much that gold weighs. We might have enough for a horse today. That is really going to change things if we have enough for a horse. So, oh, it's only like a weight of five. So it's it's basically um, one one weight per thousand gold, which isn't that bad. I mean, if you're carrying around like 20,000 gold, that's kind of abysmal, but... So let us grab all of our charcoal. We're gonna turn all of our iron into steel. Uh, we're also gonna buy some corundum. I'm gonna forget to do that, unless I do it right now. It's always good to see the finest weapons in armor. Or... Oh, okay, she doesn't have any corundum more. Yes, it's... Huh. Okay. Well, we'll just sell it instead. <laughs> Two gold Don't each. To check the shop if you need All right, so we're gonna need a boatload of charcoal. What we have right there. And then we can make a boatload of steel. Yeah, so that's 75 steel. How much more? Iron do we have? Let's do 25. So... Is there any easy way? I, I guess we'll just make 30 charcoal, and that'll allow us to do 25. That's the easiest way to do it. I mean, we're wasting some wood, but it, right? It's, it's less clicking. I prefer that. Our next step is to take all the fur items, and we're also gonna sell this amber ring here. We're gonna take all of these and break them down. We're also gonna need these, these, these. I guess we'll process these deer pelts too. I have to waddle over here to do that. You sell the uh, the ring first, take I forgot to take that out. I'm gonna be heartbroken if I accidentally sell this thing, so. Thanks for the business. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna give it to Eric. Like, hey, Eric. At first, I thought I'd miss one. What do you want me to carry? Eric, I want you to hold this. This is, it is amazing. If there's any way I can be of service. Don't lose it. <laughs> Your pelts. Uh, I guess we'll turn them into leather, right? It's it's a lot. Or we could we could make the the fur plates. That's what they're called. Yeah, Killstrike, I, I disabled the Discord command. At least until I figure out where I'm trying to redirect everybody in, into whose Discord. Adrian, I think we're going to have to borrow your forge here. Sorry. Sorry. Actually, you know what we can do? 
is we should be able, instead of uh, interrupting her, right? We should just be able to use right shift. Is she still drunk from yesterday? And we'll just use the, uh, the Smith's interface like this. And from here... So I was doing a lot of research on some of the best items to do. One of them is steel shields, right? They're pretty good. The other option is uh, chest plates. Usually chest plates are the best, at least if you have steel bars. For iron, it seems like doing guard outfits, so like uh, white run shields or white run curuses is a really good way to make money early on. Never seen her drunk like that? Yeah, well... Hey man, party hard. Okay, so this one requires hard lo hide lace and fur plates. Instead, we're gonna focus on the ones that use leather strips and then leather. What about this one? Uh, oh, that also uses fur plate. Interesting. It's kind of weird how like the different recipes like this are. Yeah, uh, I'm not familiar with it. What does this require? Oh yeah, like pelts. How many pelts? So I think we're gonna go with these. Our, uh, again, our limiting factor is... Here, if I can... Be careful, because the, uh, the inventory here might adjust. Oh, we are really close to a level up. Hey, there it is. So I think we'll take that right now. Stick it into health. the next yeah 50 like we we are so far away from any other advancement maybe light armor smithing for scale armors but even then heavy armor we could now do uh casting i think i'd rather just switch into the other um the other thing we have increased penetration Minus 50% power attack stamina cost. That is fantastic. We're probably going to go for that. And we, we still can't really sneak, which is a bummer. Our speech is pretty good. We could throw it into alchemy and then start making potions, though. That's another option. Thing is, I would rather be able to do power attacks without having to worry about using my entire stamina pool. So that's what we're going for. Rick, I'm sorry about uh, pre-ordering. Pre-ordering and then having Skyrim take over your life. We're gonna do a quick save. And we will get back to Smith's kit and then all of our steel items. Another really good thing that you can craft for money XP, if you kind of want to cheese it, is battle stats. Steel battle stats. Or staves, I'm not sure here. Where are they? I... Yeah, here they are. They only require... Here, I'm in the way. Just one ingot and then four wood, which we don't have that much wood. But if you're willing to sit there and just chop wood all day, these are really efficient for the, uh, I guess, steel to value ratio. We could probably go in here and make a couple of these. I mean, it looks like they all require a decent amount of ingots. Yeah, these require a lot more wood. So instead, we're going to focus on doing the chest plates. Could do shields, but again, those require a lot more wood than what we have. So. We're also going to get more hide lace. So to do that... Oh, I'm sorry. That's under the survivalist toolkit. Not leather strips. Where's our uh, hide lace? There it is. So we'll do, I think we'll do like three. Three should be good. And hide those. Show me the Smith recipes again. We'll do three more steel chests like that. And that should take care of all of our fur plate and hide lace. And from there, I need to see what we have for 
Yeah, we're, we're, oh my god, we have so much steel. Ah, huh, okay. We still have so much. And this is the problem, is that your limiting factor actually turns out to be leather. Did, wait a minute. Yup. We didn't break down all of our leather strips and stuff. All right, ready? There we go. <laughs> oh, so many leather strips. How many did we get out of that? Like 60? We're gonna need more uh, more leather though to match that, probably. Blades, helmets, pretty much anything to see. Just, just give me all of it. 300 gold in leather? Sure. Four leather strips. Four leather plate. Or four fur plate, excuse me. Hmm. Good luck out there. It's catching up on chat. Yeah, long, long ago in a past life, I used to do uh, movie nights. I used to have a, a push-up redemption, right? Well, you know, as the channel gets bigger, you have to avoid the copyright strikes to the best of your ability. How many can we do now? Uh, let's filter by steel. All right, what we got? Here we go. That is looking way better. So we'll process these as... I, I have to be careful because sometimes the, the the list up there can shift. So you do have to be careful. You can't just spam them. That's the one thing that I've learned. What are we doing? Looks like we're going to run out of leather strips first. And we have 11 steel ingots. We do a shield. We could do helmets. Let's take a look at what we have left. So a little bit of leather, some steel, lots of charcoal. And... 21 steel chest bodies. <laughs> oh, and we didn't break down all of those either. We're not even done yet. Because these are all so, like, garbage worthless that it's not even worth trying to sell them. Like, fur helmets, they're worth, like, six gold. And so, from there, what we'd want to do is some more hide lace. I think it is, what, what is it, 4 to 1, 2 to 1? Can't remember. Let's look at the, the Smith's recipe here for steel chest bodies and hide lace. Um, 4 hide lace to 2 fur plate. Okay. But we actually don't have that much uh, steel left, so... Do a little bit more survival. Let's here. How many for? Oh, I scroll by it. I must have yet. Yeah. Thirteen. So we'll do two of them, and that should be enough. I think we'll be able to make two more. They are. God, we're almost at level six. It's crazy. We. What's our inventory? Our inventory is at 800. <laughs> Let's go purchase a little bit of training. Wow, look at that. Put us right under. Since we have enough gold now, and after we sell all of these, we're gonna have so much. What's uh, something cheap that we can just throw some levels into? I mean, we could do one-handed. Be very simple. Sneak is another way. Let's see if the wandering caravan's outside. If it is, we're just gonna buy some levels in speech, right? Why not? I would be flabbergasted if we go out there and the caravan is there. 
Lace, suspi Lace looks suspiciously like Laffy Taffy. Yeah. There's no way the Wandering Caravan is going to be outside. Like, it's, it's just not going to be there. There's no way. All right. Inconceivable. Let's see, I believe you Some come to buy. They'll never are the sneak coming. trainer, right? Like, look at this, super cheap. And we're gonna get a level up right out of it too. Are we? Yes, nice. So here we go, right? That took what? It took like 800 gold, I think. Did it? One more level up. Where are we going to stick this? We could stick it into sneak. Mm -hmm. Or block. Sneak or block. Or two-handed. Oops. Well, we'll do a little bit more tra uh, training anyway. See you coming. Put it in a block? Yeah. Before I throw money at this, I really want to be sure, do we want to invest it into one-handed training, or, I mean, I don't think we're going to just yet. We have a long way to the next level, and I want to make sure that we have enough gold to buy a horse. I don't know if we're going to get that much gold, but it would be really nice if we could. Sneak with heavy armor? Well... One of the things that I'm hoping to do is level up Sneak to unlock some of the perks. I mean, oh yeah. Range weapons bypass 50% of the target's armor. So if we can get it up to 25, I feel like that'd be worth it. Uh, anything above that probably wouldn't be, but being able to bypass 50% armor is pretty good. What's uh what's the default for muffled movement? Yeah, your sneaking ability is 15%, but heavy armor nullifies the guns. It's true. Right? I mean, I don't we're not really building a sneak build here, but if we ever really have to get by something, we could take off our boots. If I remember to. Let's see. Anything else we have to kind of clear from our inventory here? What's up with the hide shield? Like the apparently the hide shield's the one thing that we can't break down. Protect yourself or deal some damage. Sell it. We'll get rid of the extra charcoal too. The hide lace. I guess we'll just hold on to those. Good luck out there. And we'll just sell these. How's it going? Slaves, how Let me see if I can get into a groove. Oh, well, she's probably not going to have enough gold, so. Try and sell them one at a time as quickly as possible. Oh, crap. All right, so she's out of gold. Oh, we're at 6,000 gold. Don't forget to check inside the How about... It just Eric, you, you causing trouble? Having... What do you need? Eric, I need you to hold these. <laughs> okay. Ah. Uh... Let me know if you need anything. You're gonna have to be a little bit strategic here. We'll drop all of those. We're gonna carry them in front of us, unless we get yelled at by this guard. Is that okay? They're not, they're not weapons, sir. Store those. We're still barely over encumbered. There's gotta be something we can get rid of here. Oh, the, uh, these, the wood. There we go. We're off to see the wizard. Mr. Yorling Grayman. Here we go. Auto walk. 
make my life a little bit easier. Let's avoid our chicken friend there. How come I'm not drinking hot tea right now? Um, mostly because my throat's been okay. Guard being nosy. Well, I mean, we did just make, like... We're getting pestered by everybody. Um, we did just make, like, how how many chest plates? Like, 50? Right? So. We're, uh, how much gold did we make? We were down at, like, 42... Now we're up to 6,300. So we made like 2,000 gold. Pretty good. Not terrible. Got a lot of steel to shape. Um, we could get training just Lots like that, which is probably more efficient than crafting all of your own fucking items like what I'm doing. Right? Hey, there. Oh! What? What the hell just happened? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. I guess I was like, I, I wasn't able to sell anything. It was Eric taking some of his gold. Ah! be praised. That was kind of spooky. Yeah, there we go. Great, we're up to seventy-six hundred gold. Got to level up too. Anything else? I think we'll keep the fur plate and all the other stuff. We'll just kind of stick it in the barrel. Does he have anything worth buying? He'll usually have like... Oh my... God, we could buy this. Oh. Uh, that is correct there. I used to do Minecraft on this channel. What's the ebony dagger, ebony dagger worth? 1200. Dang, man. Dang, man. Nordic blacksmithing, a bunch of other ingredients if we really wanted to get into it. Is there Done. anything else we need? We can probably use Amor to go up to level 10, just because just why not, right? For one-handed. I usually like to throw levels into lower skills just because, right? So where does that put us? I think we should be able to buy a horse. I think there's 6,000. We'll find out. Maybe this guard is just kind of like low-key trapped here. Yeah. I say we just stir all of our other crafting supplies here. Cool. The other thing we have to do is sell all of those potions. It's back. Ah. Uh, stick that in there for now. Actually, you know what we're going to do? Because I almost forgot is we're going to take these two iron ingots. Riggins, I can handle. Oh my god, you're you're not Eric. Where's Eric? Hey, Eric. If I can make enough money, Give me, please, that pickaxe and that. You leave, I'll follow. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. And we are gonna buff these. Just because then they're not going to degrade as quickly. It's always good to have stuff like that buff. Can I assist you? Of course. So, well-made pickaxe, well-made normal axe. We'll probably do it to our hunting knife as well, just because. Is there anything else and then we need some more arrows. Please have more orcish arrows. Let's have more Blades, orcish arrows. Helmets, pretty much anything to oh, me. she has 30 of them. Excellent. Finally. Oh, fancy bow. No, we're buying a horse instead. Anything else cool in here? Two handers does f or one handers is fifteen percent. And uh, sixteen plate bodies. Wonder who sold her all of those. Think Eric gets any free time to go touristing? Probably. Thanks for the business. 
not too sure what he did while he was uh, out and about at the party, but what else did we need? Oh yeah, I wanted to get one of those, and we'll we'll deal with all these. We might be able to give one to Salda, but there we go. One well made. How much is that improving it by like two, right? But makes it slightly more resistant to damage. No, Burke, it's okay. Eric needs to send money home to his father. He's an adventurer, right? Okay, I think we finally managed to get all of our uh, smithing done. We're up to 7,500 gold. So we made like 2,500 gold out of that. That's pretty good. We have some potions to sell. And then we have some mammoths due to make. Oh, she just gave me a freaking elven war axe. It just feels right somehow. Eric, sure to put it to which use. which of these would you rather use? Let's see what he prefers. He still prefers the dwarven one, but holy crap, it's worth 165 gold. Lead on. Damn. Thank you. Look, she's even letting us take some of some of her ingredients if we really wanted to. What do you need, my friend? Ah. I want to so sell you then. some miscellaneous suspicious potions that we found. Drains target stamina by 100. Probably not going to actually use it, right? Um, increasing carrying capacity. I'll, I just prefer to take two tri trips, right? I mean, I'd rather have the 300 gold, to be honest. Fortify marksman. Fortify smithing by three points. I mean, you can't actually craft these potions, I don't think. So we might... Now nah, we'll just get rid of it. Um, Two-handers do 10% more damage. That's a fort fortify health. Yeah, we're just gonna... Those will just confuse me. Store Magicka. We might use those. We might use those. Like when I'm using uh, healing auras. Because we don't have a very large pool. So... I think we might keep those. I understand what potions do. Be careful. I don't always understand how they do it. Neither do I, Eric. I just chug the poison and hope it doesn't have long-term effects. But in Skyrim, life expectancy is pretty damn low. So you just gotta roll with it. Oh yeah, we also have to talk with uh what is it, Mikhail? Is that his name? Politely tell him to stop bothering. The last scene here? No, no, no. Don't you start playing. Yeah, lady. Leave, yeah Carlotta leave Carlotta alone. Place, didn't she? <sighs> Stop. Maybe you're right. On my honor, I won't bother Carlotta ever again. Okay, Some good. Parting advice. Women, love. I don't think we can take any of the produce in here. We need more tomatoes. We're at an impasse. We need more tomatoes. Because we're going to go in there and make a bunch of tomato mammoth stew. We need a lot more tomatoes. Ripe fruit and fresh okay, it won't bother you anymore. You convinced that loot player to stop chasing me? I'd thank the gods, but I'll settle for thanking you. Here's some coin for your help. Actually, could you give me like tomatoes? Take care of yourself. So I don't think we'll be able to take anything. Oh, so she has some of those, right? Any of these? Flour, salt, cabbage. Treat yourself and your kin to a choice cut of steak or tender rack of ribs. Yeah, we'll just we're gonna take all of our tomatoes because she gave us permission to. So that's pretty cool. Lying around must be your lucky day. No, we have permission. Um, how many? I don't know how many we're actually gonna need, but did I grab? The, no, I didn't even grab the uh, the mammoth meat. John Silvertongue Rorikson. I like that. Are we going to have enough for this? Yeah.
Get some tea for old time's sake. No, we're gonna craft some stews. Craft some stews. I I think we already purchased the beef stew from her. We'll double check though. Hello. Drink for the thirsty, food for the hungry. Oh, she does have two beef stew. Excellent. Not much else in the way of uh, restore stamina though. I mean, she has like the apple cabbage stew, but it lasts like five minutes and I am lazy and forgetful. So we are going to do something better than that. God's blessing. Did I forget the bottles? There's no way I forgot the, the bottles of water too. On you. All right, let's go get the bottles of water too. Yeah, it was really hot today. So that's, and that's also one of the reasons. It, uh, it always makes me laugh that you, in order to make the, uh, like any recipes now, you require a bottle of water. Skyrim inventory management nightmare and the tomatoes. I didn't even notice those. Of course, now we're over encumbered. So we shall store. I guess we'll put the fishing rod away for now. I can give up some of my orcish arrows. It's Eric. Eric! It just feels right somehow. No problem. How can I help? Like, I... I give Eric these arrows, and I guess they're not super expensive. You lead, I'll follow. But at the same time, he has a really bad shot. Like, Eric is just hot garbage when it comes to shooting. I don't know if you've... Just because we've seen him shoot earlier. It is not good. Let's see if this is restocked at all with uh, with new missives here. No, ale, gather ore. Lots of soul gems to be collected, but too easy. All right. Careful, you're in the fire there. So let us see our little chef's kit here and then mammoth tomato stew. Oh my God, it makes two at a time. So two tomato, one raw mammoth, and then one water will make us, and, and then it lasts for 7,200 seconds. Not bad. We could do mammoth balls. What else can we do with mammoth? Because mammoth is super amazingly OP. So we have, if we have honey, that's 3,600. Um, marinated mammoth el elsewhere sauce, right? Two hunting brew meat and then moon sugar does um, stamina and magicka. That's pretty cool, right? We had mold wine. How do you get mold wine? I don't even really know how to do that. But then the uh, mammoth tomato stew is, based on what I found, it's pretty much the best. So why did I exit out? So I say, I know food items don't really expire anymore. Where? Oh, there we go. We'll do like eight of them. That should be more than enough, right? And we'll store the rest. I wish you could salt the meat, or, or immersively, that's what you would do, right? If you had a bunch of raw meat, you would salt it. And that would allow you to cook with it in the future. And that's why, uh, immersively, that's why Dylan removed all of the, the salt requirements from the recipes. Saving the moon sugar for magic potions? Yeah. So, we'll just drop off all of our, um... Like, we don't really need more than two of them at any given time. Oh, we have raw beef here for beef stew as well. So, mammoth meat, all the tomatoes. That should be more than plenty good, right? We have, we have a few other, like, food items, but... 
Anything else we can quickly drop off in here? Probably all of those kits, and we'll pick them up. And then we will use our gold to purchase a horse. Yeah. And we might find a horse in our travels, but at the very least, we should have one. And then we're going to use that to go clear out all of the, the madness at Green Spring Hollow. It's called. Yeah, whatever's there. But we'll check... What is it? Yep, yeah, uh, Green Spring Hollow, but we're also going to check to see if anybody's on the road to help us clear out the outside of Fort Greymore. And if there is somebody to help clear Fort Greymore, we'll probably prioritize that. Tony! Got the fleet of steeds in all the Skyrim. Like to buy a horse, please. Oh, uh, can I buy one of your horses? Oh, so. Got one all saddled if you've got the coin. Uh, 6,000 septums. You've got the deal. It's the one with the saddle. Uh, what do you have for sale? Hey, like, do you, do you have any good armor? Um, so we're looking at the, the armor rating there, right? 150. Looks like the best we're gonna get, right? These are the same. Hmm. I wish I could know what I was getting here, but I guess we'll get the, uh... We'll just get the normal one, because I don't really know what it looks like, but... All right. Do we want to choose a new name for Queen Elfsigar at all? Anyone who has any suggestions, let me know in chat. How does that look? Oh, not bad. Definitely an improvement, right? More armor is always good. Man like you need take a look. And we'll sell the old, uh, the old saddle here. You always keep us in mind when you need a fresh horse. Yeah. All right. Oh, very nice. I was about to say. Does Eric have a horse? We just. Eric, you have a horse? How long have you owned a horse? Eric had a secret horse? told me you had a horse. Eric is just full of surprises. No, Eric. We, we, ugh. Ridiculous. Music man, thank you for the subscription. How was your day, Ben? We just discovered that our follower had a secret horse worth 6,000 gold. He wasn't telling us about a madman. We're gonna park our horses here. Away from what lies ahead. We're also gonna grab our uh, silver greatsword instead. Ah, uh, that is absolutely terrifying. It really is. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Food buffs, food buffs. Food buffs. One stew. Second stew. There we go. Quick save just to make sure nothing weird happens, right? I have one silver arrow, Someone but... There you are. Yeah. I 
All right. It's one of them. There's two. Hi, Sarek. All right, now, now for the true test, right? Take him out quick. Nice. Cross magic will F you up if you're not careful. Seriously. Nice. They look pretty cool. Ooh. All right, what well, we got around here? Here, we'll do a uh, healing poultice. That. Master chest, huh? Uh, what are we missing? Like, yeah, we'll we'll use a light potion too. Light one, yeah, crude one. Ooh, major restoration, eight hundred gold. Take that. Anything else? We need to get our health up, because then we might be able to bash the chest. Might be able to bash the chest. Probably not. But maybe. What was that that we picked up? Restoration spells, 14% less. Not a chance. Hey, uh... What is it? Hey, Eric, bro. Can't do that. Sorry. Yeah, it's okay. We'll come back someday. We'll come back later. Grab some nightshade, though. Guys holding anything not particularly valuable? We'll take the nightshade. Hmm. We're, we're pretty all set as far as like smithing and iron stuff goes. I think we're up to 25 and I'm, I've, I've gotten my iron fixed, right? Take the cabbages? Yeah, I guess so. We have the inventory room. We can drop them off. So, yeah, it looks like it's just directly west of here. Wait. Hmm. Alright, well... <laughs> that's interesting. It looks like whatever was in there has decided to go for a little walk. Oh my god, don't tell me it's a freaking mammoth that I'm trying to kill, right? Probably not. Whatever it was must have wandered away a little bit, but... Maybe it's a bear or something. Either way, we'll have its head. Yep. There it is. A wonky bear. Ah, such a fine day. Smell the air, isn't it? Do <laughs> we don't have any poisons. I mean, we could give it um a ridiculous amount of stamina. Wonderful. As a poison, if we really wanted to. Oh, all right. <laughs> it almost crushed Eric. Don't worry, bro. I got you back. Oh, yeah. I never noticed that they had meat hanging here. That would definitely get you killed, right? Oh, we'll pick up everything that this guy had here. Uh, ooh, nice ring. But the rest, yeah, we'll take the cloak. But the rest of it, 
not too interested in. What's this? The Argonian account? I mean, it's a good book. If, if any of you... Oh, that's just grass. I was like, what the heck? If any of you haven't read uh, the Argonian account, it's actually a wonderful book. Random fish in a bag, goat legs, horse meat. Yeah, definitely a wood elf. These are actually, like, really great to have because we can process them down and... Nice. Then we'll do this. Oh, if we can get this on the first try, that'd be amazing. What we got? Um, yeah, we'll just take all of it. And then I think what we're going to do is we're going to process this bear, because we could really use the animal fat. Unless we decide to pick it up and bring it back to town. We could do that. We can... We have the ability to do that. And just tie the whole thing to the back of the horse. Right? There it is, the bear. So that is an option. Eric, what do you think? Should we should we bring it back into White Run or skin it here? I think we're gonna skin it here. Oh, I got some arrows back. Eric, find anything cool? Do some ingredients. We'll do ooh, nice superlative animal bone out of that. Skin the pelt and see if we can actually accomplish that. Right? <clears throat> What we get, what we get? A, a ruined pelt! Hey, okay. Well, well, gee. Isn't that fantastic? We're not gonna butcher any of the meat. <laughs> huh. Alright. Well, we got some XP out of that, right? And then we'll ride on back and... For tonight, we're going to set up our tent and camp outside of White Run because we have some level ups to do in our survival retreat. We'll skip to that. Oh! Oh my god, what the hell? Who the hell is this? What the hell is this? What? Help! Ah! Who are you? What do you want? Get him, weird summoned horse. Who are you? This is so weird. What the hell just happened? This guy just ran out of nowhere and attacked us. Uh, goodness. Right. All right, moving right along, my goodness. All right, welcome back everyone. So it is now almost 10 p.m. in game. We set up our little camp outside. We have our inspiring fire going and we're going to be allocating a few of our skill perks that we have. In the Frostfall mod, we'll see what we get, right? And then from there, we'll be ending the stream. Spooky wolf howls in the distance, right? Well, let's see, um, perks to increase, 0%. I don't think we have anything yet for fire making, but do we have anything for survival? Let's find out, right? Unyielding. Yep, we have one per. Carry weight is increased by 15 points. So we have been sitting on 15 extra carry weight, just, just kind of unused, right? Let's see, does... I think, no, we have to start with the bottom one, right? Before we can choose anything else. 
But then, yeah, sleeping restores 10% more exhaustion. Heat warms you faster. Eating restores more hunger. So... I think we have one more, right? Yes, this one. Well, let's adaptation. Oh, okay. We I guess we haven't been running around all that much, but we'll have to keep we, we need to go outside more, right? We need to do more camping. And once we do more camping, that should allow us to level this up more and uh, cuz some of them prevent like, you know, or increase your frost resistance. They're really powerful. So if we can look at a few of these, right? Um yeah, this is related to, like, building fires and stuff. Yeah. Let's go back to the other one, because I think it offers you frost buffs specifically. Let me see if I can find them. Right, the frost ward. Exposure increased for frost spells and attacks is reduced by 25%. So, like, and that slows you down. You know, that's one of the things that can really kill you, right? Being able to swim in icy water, right, Incre increases the warmth of your armor. These are all really valuable. So, and this is uh, time spent exposed to the elements. So we're going to make sure we camp outside more often. And uh, that does it. That does it. Excuse me. That's the end of our stream. So thank you everyone for watching. We, uh, we managed to clear out uh, the green, green spring at Green Spring Cavern. Took out the bear and uh, got a bunch more gold. We have a new horse which is really exciting. That'll allow us to travel much further during the daytime. And I will see you all next time when we start exploring the rest of Skyrim. Have a good day.